Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Graven. I'm back with more reactions with an X. <laughs> Forgot to move the microphone back. Boop. And I'm hoping that today is going to be a very good day. Uh, for those who don't know, we're doing another episode of Arcane. We are now on episode 7, The Boy Savior. It is going to be a super fun time. One, because I'm pretty sure we're getting back to Echo in this episode based on the title. But two, the series is going great. We're finally into the third portion of the releases. For those who don't know, these were released in three episode portions. Episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7, 8, 9 when they were released originally on netflix and so they're kind of thematically pieced together right at least that's how it felt for me where there was a lot of rises and falls based on that three uh episode separation in any case it's been super great it has gotten better each episode and i'm glad i stuck with it past my initial episode for those who don't know uh you know this is based on the League of Legends game, and I think it's done a really good job on doing an adaption so far. They covered a lot of things I was worried about, and I don't really think they've made too many changes from what I understand. Obviously, they've made some new stuff um, with Valiant and Powder, kind of, but maybe that was always originally their story. I feel like both Jinx and Vi had less developed stories than some of the earlier characters when they were released. They did have that combined kind of mythos, and did have some story but compared to like the vast amounts like they had entire entries for like the first 50 or so champions released where it's described their history their interactions with other characters right that's how you learned about wukong and master yi's affiliation all that great stuff which is part of once again what brought me on to league so i'm super happy to see it continue with that said i am gonna go ahead and get in this episode as always remember support the original content creators because if we don't you know play the game or pay to watch this stuff then we don't get more of the game and we don't get more of these cool animated series that they work on uh, and if you enjoy watching with us here specifically wait till the end of the video and if you make it there you know i'll tell you how you can support us there but i want to make sure you enjoy the episode before i spill out to you so let's go ahead and get started Okay. What the hell? It's like a music video. On anybody standing in the way of what I dream for. How could you ignore? They say I'm only brick rap. Well, that's the foundation. I think this is honestly more interesting than the um, Imagine Dragons music video. This is really poppy. Like, the visuals are cool. Oh. Locked up, locked up. Oh, her too, huh? I knew it was a mistake. Those are some real faded burlap sacks. Oh, hello. You look like one of the ter tertiary races. There's a lot of races in League of Legends. With the main two probably being like human and Yordle, or maybe, I guess, I don't know what the other stuff is 100%. Or just ugly. <laughs> Tough, tough, tough. Come on, look into the back, the reverser. There he is. You look good for a dead girl. Damn! I'm not minding the voice too much either. He sounds a little young, but he was supposed to be younger than them. So I'm not too uh, opposed to it. I, and he always seemed like a deviant to me, you know what I mean? Like a younger kid on the on the streets was always Echo's what do you know thing. About this? Fortunately. We have the capacity to change our nature. And this is Shimmer. A variant. It should provide Singed. A oh, it gave the name. The violent transition. <laughs> I knew it though. Plans. Fucking you subtitles. Plans, are you? Chase will understand. Perhaps. This is cool. Oh, and he's hammering. He's going off. All right. I would say this is a fully heterosexual male. Damn, look at him without his shirt. I don't know. There's also just something about a man putting in hard work that is like the epitome of like, God damn, bruh. Look at him push that fire in the forge. Oh, God, that's going to pop. Ooh, yep. Everything you said about him was true. Yep. My family cast me out, and yet part of me still loves them. 
Heimerdinger will understand eventually. That I'm not sure. It's He's pretty old, now, and the no the older somebody is, the more they're they likely to hold on to this shit. Just like you've always dreamed. I'll store the council, but they'll soon need their leader. In the meantime, try not to lose your nuts. <laughs> really? That's the line. All right, I'll give it to him there. I'll give it to him there. That was it was a bit cheesy, but it worked in that particular scene because of the setup. All our business is down. And she's just some stupid topsider. Yeah. Stapler. Nice. I like that they're covering this. I'm going to pause it because we haven't I don't always I feel like I sometimes stop too often to cover the negatives and don't to cover the co positives because once again we we as consumers assume positives to be the the standard right but I want to take a second to talk about that cuz it's really well done covering wounds right a lot of shows will glance over the wounds taking care of them and this is very naturally swinging it in without making it a out of the way right it's just wow she's doing this it helps to push her craziness right with the pain barrier water's gone by all that's left is Jinx, and she belongs to You're Sylvia. wrong. She's still in there. I can reach her. You can't. Once again. my sister. I like I that he has... Thing to show you. I love the clock on his face, too. I didn't mention it, but they did so well on that. I, I don't know why. I actually like his hair better than the regular hairs. Aw. This... Is everyone we've lost? All right, we'll keep at it. It's very interesting to me because there's a whole dynamic on both sides of that, right? First, where this wild attack it's really Robert. tough to do either now side 100 percent justice of who's right who's wrong money and for what his dreams of rebellion is losing control these guys all look together, like cool but minor people do for an assembly better to have some trade than none at all interesting the border issue is temporary jinx will deal with it <laughs> Rumor is you dogs are for leash. How are you meant to bring Piltover to heal if you can't handle your own people? Huh? Oh, yep, I thought so. They were doing gas. What's that? And why none of them would be prepared for this is ridiculous. And have you in the sun? These guys are all idiots. <laughs> Who goes to a meeting like that with nothing? No gun, nothing. <laughs> Ridiculous. We came from a world where there was never enough to go around. Oh, he's sucking oxygen out of the air. Now I get it. That is why we fight. Still is not explaining why he's fine. It's too soon. Jace isn't ready. There's one other thing. Her family. This arrived for you. The Medardas, I'm sure. Yeah, look at the weird seal. It kinda looks like the thing on her head, right? As I'm tripping. We should prepare our own countermeasures. You want us to build weapons? Absolutely not. That is not why we invented Hextech. Which is so funny we because of who he is. attempt at peace. Heimerdinger would never go Heimerdinger's for this. Heimerdinger's an action is what brought us here. You said so yourself. The peace is already broken, Jace. I'm only asking you to prepare to defend your people. If we're lucky, we'll never need to use it. Yeah, all weapons are made like that and then used. The decision is yours. This is a rough one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a practicalist. Ridiculous. You cannot be considering this. I'd probably do it, uh, personally. Right. 
Are we just gonna stand by while they attack us? We're scientists, not soldiers. So it's a chemical mixture. Interesting. That is always a choice. That is true. It does make both choices good or equal, though. He's carving Hextech runes into his um, uh, braces. Intelligent. What's he reading about? Oh, no. It's him and Heimer. Something like that. Is that... Who is that on the thing? I'm so I'm confused. We call the I'm worried I have to do something I never thought I would. The Jace! Look at his hammer! Look at his cape! That's what he saw! And Heimer's in the Undercity. Is he gonna go see Singed? Oh, wow, look at his... Look at his stuff. I, I'm not gonna lie, I really don't blame him. A variant. I like his, how his stuff is a mix of the two different sciences, right? Of the shimmer, like the genetic mutationary science, and this, which is more mechanical and... Oh, I think it sucked a good amount of his blood out. Oh... It is combining with him deeply. Oh. You can't change her. I have to try. I appreciate that, though. But that's also maybe not always the best choice. But I respect the choice. Because she's still sticking for family. She's pulling the Dom strap, boys. Like I said, I think it was a good choice on her part. Uh, it's not always the correct choice, right? You can't always save people and fix people. But not trying is a whole different thing, right? Now she's going to attack them, right? Because she's got a big... What the hell is this? Oh, no, that's right. Marcus is going to try to gun her Sir, down. I have proof. Silco's behind everything. You to leave this alone. He can't kill her. He would be in so much trouble. He has. He could not get away with it. He is in a fucked place right now. He cannot shoot her because if he does, it will be nearly impossible. He'd have to dump her body right over the side of the thing so none of the other enforcers saw her. Are they explosives? Oh, they're Jinx explosives. They're not actually flies, the butterfly ones. Yep, see, they look like firelights, but they're explosives. Now that, I can get behind. That is something I'm actually fine with. I think Jinx could totally design and engineer that. Ha! I hope they blew your fucking arm off, you piece of shit. I don't like that cop. I hope he dies. I really do. I don't care if he has a kid. Doesn't matter to me! <laughs> Sucks to be her, but he's got to die. The second time that she's gotten, like, come in and Jinx has just destroyed everything. What happened there? She just abandoned don't it? Mind. No. Don't, don't, don't my daughter. No, fuck you. I hope I'm glad. I like I said, I'm glad you're dead. Sucks that your daughter lost her daddy, but her daddy was a piece of shit who deserves to die. <laughs> he got so many people killed, and he's probably gonna get most of the city bombed for his own piece of shitness. Let's see how this goes. She's the flagship character, so she probably wins. But once again, in a real fight, Echo would take it nine times out of ten. Unless the Jinx was so fed she could one-shot him before he got his E off. Oh no. Yeah, don't let your, uh... Oh, okay. That's cool. This is dope. 
These are so much better than the, no offense, the Imagine Dragon stuff. And maybe it's just because I like rap so much now, but look at him and understep the bullet. Go back. <laughs> Damn, look at her face. He's gonna let her go because she looks just like her, you know, younger self. Softness. That will usually do it. Softness will usually lose you the fight. We've seen it like three times from Vi. So here it comes. Cool, we'll do as much damage to her as him. We're not gonna discuss that with some of the other ones she did too. Like that would do as much damage, actually more, cause she has a lighter frame. Takes more damage, right? But whatever, not gonna talk about that. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. It'd be different if she had like explosions resistance. Ah, oh, cool. They did it right. I'm like, uh, cause I was like, come on now. Thank God they did that right. I was like, come on now. That's gonna fuck her up just as much as it fucked him up. That was good. There were a couple parts once again where they 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 do such good stuff and then sometimes they just let it go. They let it, some of it go where they're like, ah, we'll just worry about the description of it later. Yeah, but I think it was a pretty good episode. Um, there was a lot. Like I think that was probably the best part of the episode right there at the end with the fight with Jinx and Echo. Everything else was pretty good. I think my favorite parts being the Victor kind of slot, you know, uh, turning into Victor. And also Jace, like everyone's moving towards their final stage forms, right? You saw the picture of Jace as a cartoon kid. And I also like that they really did, right, put them in the things. Like Jinx is great, but she's an 80 carry, which means she needs somebody in front, right? If she has somebody in front, she's a massive problem in the game. Now, obviously that wouldn't translate well into the show, but I still like that when they put up Echo versus Jinx, the correct outcome comes forward, right? Like a diving... Uh, high burst damage AP is going to fucking 80 carry up pretty much 90 times out of 10 unless you can keep them off you and that's just how they're designed to be right like it's the way that the design ga game is designed all that good stuff I, I think it's a funny thing with that said I think uh, it's been great we still got two more episodes so I'm excited to see what happens with them because there is a lot of potential for the future series obviously this is gonna get a second season it was going to get a second season, honestly, probably even if it did badly, because Riot has the money to do that. So it's not a big stretch of the imagination to be like, hey, um, well, let's just do another season and see if we get it right. But now that it's doing so well in season one, I have no doubt it's going to get a season two. And, you know, it should be a good time. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching. As always, you got to support the original content creator if you do. I guess you don't have to, but you really should morally. And also, you know, please, for me, request. But if you liked watching with us and you want to see more of our different episodes, reactions, we do a bunch of different anime series, movies, etc. You can check us out here on Twitch. We do uh, live streams every Sunday on twitch.tv slash reactions with an X. Sorry, 3D reactions with an X. And, uh, you know, you could also check it out later on YouTube. But if you want to see it fully uncut, no audio cuts, no video cuts, you can check out our Patreon where you can see them with early access and some exclusive stuff for as low as a dollar a month, right? So you can get exclusive shows as well as shows like this with none of the cuts and stuff we have to put on YouTube and you don't have to catch it live. So, you know, maybe if you like it. If not, as always, feel free to put down some suggestions on how I can prove, improve as a creator and a reactor in the comments and I'll try my best. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. This has been Reactions with an X Art Kane and I am Axel Grave. I will see you guys next time.